this presentation on how a double check valve backflow prevention device assembly works is presented to you by Jimmy Backflow Productions. A double check valve device assembly is used in low hazard situations only, no chemicals. It's used where a direct cross connection exists, where back siphonage backflow or back pressure backflow could occur. Double check valve device assembly may be subjected to continuous or intermittent pressure conditions. It is inline testable. This device shall meet ASSE 1015 standard. The design conditions for a double check valve device assembly are as follows. The device contains two single check valves coupled within one body. Each check valve is spring-loaded closed. The check valves are independently acting. The springs are set at 1 PSI minimum. American Waterworks Association maximum allowable pressure loss is 10 PSI for 1 quarter inch to 12 inch devices. The assemblies have four test cocks. The assembly has an upstream and downstream shutoff valve. You can see in this exploded view of a double check valve backflow prevention device the check cover, O-ring cover, check spring, poppet, seal ring, seal ring retainer, retainer bolt, check seat, O-ring check seat, test cocks, and ball valves. This device has two independently acting check valves that are spring loaded with a minimum of a one pound spring. The purpose of the spring is to maintain pressure on the check valve when there is a small amount of debris on the check valve seat. A typical application of a double check valve assembly would be on a fire protection system where chemicals are not used or an auxiliary water supply is not in use. On a double check valve assembly, the test cocks are located as follows. Test cock number one is located upstream of the number one shutoff valve. Test cock number two is located upstream of the first check valve. Test cock number three is located between the first and second check valve or downstream of the first check valve or upstream of the second check valve. Test cock number four is located downstream of the second check valve. You can see in this illustration that test cock number one is located upstream of the upstream shutoff valve. Test cock number two is located upstream of the first check valve. Test cock number three is located downstream of the first check valve and upstream of the second check valve. Test cock number four is located downstream of the second check valve. With the test cocks in these positions, you can measure the pressure on each side of the check valves. Number one test cock is typically used in the maintenance of this device. It is not necessarily used in the testing of this device. The double check valve device assembly in a flow condition. Both check valves are open. As water is flowing through the device, a pressure loss is generated across each check valve due to the tensile strength of the spring in each check valve and friction. The greater the flow in gallons per minute, the greater the pressure loss. As you can see in this chart of a three inch double check valve device assembly, as the gallons per minute increases, the pressure loss becomes greater. The double check valve device assembly in a no flow condition with no demand downstream or the downstream shutoff valve is closed tight, the first check valve and second check valve are closed tight. The device is providing protection at this time. In this situation, the pressure loss through the device is being created by the tensile strength of the springs in the first and second check valve. The double check valve device assembly 
in a back pressure backflow condition with both check valves closed tight. The pressure downstream of the second check valve is greater than the incoming supply pressure. With the second check valve holding tight, the device is providing protection. With the first check valve holding tight, the pressure lost across the first check valve is being generated by the spring. The double check valve device assembly in a back pressure backflow condition with the first check valve closed tight and the second check valve fouled open, the pressure downstream of the second check valve is greater than the incoming supply pressure. With the second check valve being fouled, the pressure downstream of the first check valve is also greater than the incoming supply pressure. With the first check valve holding tight, the vise is providing protection. The double check valve device assembly in a back pressure backflow condition with the first check valve fouled open and a second check valve closed tight, the pressure downstream of the second check valve is greater than the incoming supply pressure. With the second check valve closed tight, the device is providing protection. There is no pressure loss across the first check valve since the first check valve is fouled open. The double check valve device assembly in a back pressure backflow condition with the first check valve fouled open and the second check valve was fouled open, the pressure downstream of the second check valve is greater than the incoming supply pressure. Since the second check valve was fouled open, the pressure downstream of the first check valve is also greater than the incoming supply pressure. With the first check valve being fouled open, the pressure upstream of the first check valve is greater than the incoming supply pressure. Therefore, this device is not providing protection and the non-potable water is getting into the potable water supply source. This is one of the reasons why this backflow prevention device needs to be tested periodically. The double check valve device assembly in a back side finish backflow condition with both check valves closed, the pressure on the upstream side of the first check valve is a negative pressure. The pressure downstream of the first check valve is a positive pressure. The pressure downstream of the second check valve is positive pressure as well. With both check valves closed tight, the device is providing protection under a back siphonage backflow condition. The double check valve device assembly in a back siphonage backflow condition with check valve number one fouled open and check valve number two closed tight, the pressure on the upstream side of the first check valve is negative. The pressure on the downstream side of the first check valve is negative as well since the check valve is in an open position. The pressure downstream of the second check valve is a positive pressure since the second check valve is closed tight. In this situation, the device is still providing protection under a back siphonage backflow condition. The double check valve device assembly in a back siphonage backflow condition with check valve number one closed tight and check valve number two fouled open. The pressure on the upstream side of the first check valve is negative or subatmospheric. Since the first check valve is closed tight, the pressure downstream of that first check valve is positive. The pressure is also positive downstream of the second check valve, even though the second check valve is fouled. The vise in this condition is still providing protection since the first check valve is closed tight. The double check valve device assembly in a back siphonage backflow condition with check valve number one fouled open and check valve number two fouled open, the pressure on the upstream side of the first check valve is negative or subatmospheric. The pressure on the upstream side of the second check valve is negative or subatmospheric as well. In this situation, since the first check valve and second check valve are fouled, 
non-potable water is now flowing into the potable water supply system through a back siphonage backflow condition. The device is not providing protection at this time. This is the end of the training. This training is presented online at www.ceuplan.com.